Shaitan is nobody's friend. Allah is your friend. Allah wali yulladina amanu. Allah is your friend. Allah has chosen wali as a name for himself. Although wali means a pious person, a saintly person. Amongst the categories of people who are honorable, walis or saints are, are number one, then shohada, martyrs, then siddiqs, then nabis. Nabis are on the top. And walis or saints on the bottom, and every Muslim is a potential wali, is a potential friend of Allah. But there are categories in friendship. Some people are merely friends just because they know someone. If someone asks you, do you know Abdullah? Yeah, he's my friend. And you might not necessarily know him very well. And, but because you know him basically, so you think he is your friend. There is somebody else uh, that you confide in, you assist and you help all the time. And you get along with him, you help him in, in, in his time of need. He helps you in your time of need and you get along and you know all there is to know about each other. Uh, similarly with Allah, a person who believes in Allah is also a friend of Allah. But there are then those who do 24-7 whatever Allah wants them to do. And mashallah, at whatever opportunity they get, they try and do things and say things and mashallah and behave in a manner which pleases Allah and they become so dear to Allah and so close to Allah that Allah becomes a true friend. To an extent, it says in hadith, لا يزال عبدي يتقرب إلي بالنوافل حتى أحبه فإذا أحببته كنت سمعه الذي يسمع به and Allah says, I'll take him to be my friend and my beloved. And then when that stage comes, then I become his eyes with which he sees, his ears with which he listens, and with his legs with which he walks. in سَأَلَنِي لَأَعْطَيْتُهُ وَلَا إِنِ اسْتَعَذَنِي لَأُعِذَنَّ Then whatever he asks me, I give him. And when he seeks my refuge, I grant him. Uh, this is a true friend of Allah. Uh, because Allah is a friend of the believers. But the Nabis are the highest. But Allah hasn't given himself the name Nabi. Because Allah wanted to bring Nubuwath to an end. So if Allah had named himself a Nabi, then one day because Nubuwath was destined to come to an end, so one of Allah's attributes would have come to an end, which, is, which can't happen. But Wali means a friend. So Allah will continue to be friend of the believers till Qiyamah and beyond. Allah's friendship will never come to an end. Allah will never betray his friends. Allah is a real and a true, and a true friend and a loyal friend. And so Allah waliyulladina amanu. Allah wants us to be His friend. Allah wants to extend that friendship to every believer. But it's up to the believers. It's up to the believers how close and dear a friend they want to be with Allah. And the closer they are to Allah, and the dearer they are to Allah, yukhriju min zulumati ila nur. Allah will lead them from darkness into light. When you're when you're in the light, you know what's good, what's bad, what's harmful, what's useful, who your friend is, who your foe is, who's your enemy. Now you can tell. You can. You're living in light. And so a true believer, Allahu Akbar, he never gets cheated. He never gets deceived by anybody because he's living in light. He's living with the friendship of Allah. So how can anyone cheat him? And he says, "Ittaqu min firasat al mu'min, fa inna yanzuru bi nurillah." Huh? Fear the understanding, the wisdom of a believer because he sees with Allah's nur. Allah blesses him with special understanding, special insight. Allah wa- and then that person, just when you see something good in light, you appreciate good things. Uh, so a true believer, uh, when Iman is in the heart, he appreciates all good things. He likes doing good things. He likes talking good. He doesn't like talking rubbish. Uh, Allah says, tell my servants, and they should speak what is good. So he likes speaking good, good things. He likes looking at good things. He likes listening to good things, because that's what pleases Allah. And when a person does good, When you do something good and you feel happy. And then when you've done something wrong, you feel restless. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, then فَأَنْتَ مُؤْمِنْ and then you are a true believer. Uh, when you've done something good and you feel good, when you've done something bad and you feel bad, then that's a sign you're a true believer. Just like when you're healthy, you feel hungry, and when you're hungry and you're given some meal, you feel you enjoy the taste of the meal. 
And when, you, when you've been on a hard day's work, a mission, at the end of the day, you feel so tired and you put your head down before you know you're gone. Uh, so having eating good, sleeping good, they are signs of good health. Uh, if you can't eat well and you can't sleep well, that means something is seriously wrong. Uh, a normal healthy person, he will en- enjoy a nice meal. And this is Allah's rahmat, Allah's fazl. Allah has made this life so wonderful for us. Although Allah has made us only and created us only to worship Him. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created jinn and mankind but to worship me. The only purpose of our creation is to worship Allah. But Allah has not said to us, just sit in the masjid, go into caves, go into jungles, go into the desert, and just say salat or read Quran and make tasbih. No. Allah has, allow, Allah has commanded us to pray five times a day. And then allowed us to work, have, mashallah, dress well, eat well. Allah has permitted us. قُلْ مَنْ حَرَّمَ زِينَةَ اللَّهِ الَّتِي يَخْرَجَ لِعِبَادِهِ Tell them who has made it unlawful for you not to enjoy the, enjoy the beauty of this world, what Allah has placed in it. No, the good food, companionship, family, mashallah. When a person is alone, you feel bored. And when you meet some, some nice friends, and you have a nice, decent, good conversation, Mashallah, you feel good. Uh, when you've been working out all day, Mashallah, at the end of the day, you feel hungry, you look forward to having a nice meal. Having had a nice meal makes you feel good. And then, Mashallah, if you married uh, in that relationship, that companionship, you look forward to meeting someone and having a nice time together, just with your friends, with your family, with your children, Mashallah, being with your parents, being with your wife, Mashallah, uh, it looks, you look forward to such meetings and your meetings, Mashallah, become enjoyable and time passes nicely. In the meantime, you say your Fajr, your Zohar, your Asr, your Maghrib and Isha, uh, while you are enjoying yourself to a certain permission, level, you are doing your ibadat as well, your life is ticking by, mashallah, you think you got things to look forward to, which you enjoy doing and which give you pleasure as well, and at the same time, your prayers, mashallah, your sadaqah, when Ramadan comes, you are fasting, Allah has given you wealth, you've been to hajj, mashallah, you give sadaqah, you go to umrah, and at the same time, your account in the hereafter is being built up, so over a period of 40, 50, 60 years, you've, you've, you've led a decent life, you haven't been a monk, mashallah, during the day you look forward to mashallah working and then coming home at night and you've been saying your prayers at night, you rest mashallah, you enjoy your sleep, but don't enjoy it too much. <laughs> like some people, they sleep in such a manner you can beat drums and they, and they can't get up, let alone getting up for Fajr. And for people who can't get up for Fajr, the Prophet wasallam said, Baal shaytan fi he hadith, The Prophet said, Shaitan urinates in their ears. Uh, so, but you get up in the morning, mashallah, وَبِلَّ أَسْحَارِهُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ In the later part of the night, mashallah, people get up and they make istighfar, they come to the masjid, and if you knew how much reward there was in coming to masjid for Fajr and Isha, if you had to crawl, you would not hesitate. And this is how important it is to come to masjid, especially for Fajr and for Isha Salat. Uh, so I was saying, over a period of 40, 50, 60 years, mashallah, a person, he's been, Allah has blessed him, mashallah, he has breakfast in the morning, before that he's prayed his Fajr, breakfast, he goes to work, mashallah, he's been working hard now, he feels hungry, lunch, and he prays prayed his Zohar as well, and he thanked Allah, then he's worked his day, mashallah, full day shift, comes home, mashallah, meets his family, children, he, mashallah, and the day of Qiyamah, the first thing which will be placed in the scale pan, it won't be your prayers, it won't be your Hajj or your Jihad. The Prophet ﷺ said, the first thing which will be placed in the pan of scales on the day of Qiyamah will be the sadqa or the expenditure which a person would have spent upon his family. So looking after your children, your family, that is sadaqah. And that is, that is also responsibility Allah has given. And on the day of Qiyamah, you will be rewarded for it.